Everybody rise as the Honorable Judge Marshall Stevens takes his seat. Honorable, ha! Be quiet. If the judge hears you say that, that won't bode well for your case. Don't speak unless I tell you to, all right? Ladies and gentlemen of the courtroom and jury, we are here today to view the case of Kelly Grimes, or Evil Little Kelly as some of you have referred to her as. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury to my left, we ask you to be fair in your decision at the end of this trial and take all evidence into account. Kelly Grimes is being tried today on three separate counts. These three counts are murder, terrorism against the magical kingdom and its royal family, and possession of a deadly weapon with intent to cause harm. I will now call Kelly Grimes' lawyer to make his opening case. You may approach the jury, Mr. Rosenberg. Thank you, Your Majesty. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I'm here today to defend my client Kelly Grimes from these ridiculous accusations. I assure you she did not commit any of these crimes put forward by the Greenfield Police Department and Detective Mahoney. These crimes she's being accused of are not only lies, but are an attempt to cover up the real matter at hand here. There's something you should know about Kelly Grimes before we continue with this trial, ladies and gentlemen of the jury. Something I think you'll find very helpful in your final decision. Oh no, he's going to tell the jury about... Don't worry, detective. The jury are sworn to secrecy. They can never repeat anything they hear today. Nobody will ever know that evil little Kelly is the king's daughter. I promise you that. Kelly Grimes is actually the daughter of none other than King Tom of the Magical Kingdom. <gasps> Order! Order! Order in the courtroom! Thank you, Your Honor. She was sent away by the king and queen when she was a baby on the belief that she was evil. Kelly Grimes was merely trying to reconnect with her long-lost family, and when the king got wind of this, he decided to make up all these lies about my client Kelly Grimes in order to try and make her disappear. My client is innocent and has been set up. Your Honor, I object. That is not true. Sit down, detective. You will have your turn to speak. As I was saying before I was rudely interrupted, my client is innocent and should not be prosecuted for these crimes. These lies are made by a desperate king to cover up his mistakes of the past. I can't believe they're trying to make her look innocent. Don't worry, detective. They have no case. The jury will never believe this fool. But what if they do? She could walk free for goodness sake. Thank you, Mr. Rosenberg. We will take a short break for lunch until we call our defense lawyer. See you in one hour, ladies and gentlemen. Order! Order! Order in the courtroom! Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen of the jury. I would like to introduce the defense lawyer, Mr. Cameron, to make his opening case. Mr. Cameron, if you please approach the jury now. Thank you, Your Honor. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, firstly, I would like to start by telling you what you heard from evil little Kelly's lawyer is complete lies. Not only has he tried to shame the king of our magical kingdom, he has tried to make this evil girl look innocent. I implore you, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, see her as she is. She is a menace and pure evil. Some of the crimes she has committed should not go unpunished. If evil little Kelly is to walk free here today, then we are all in grave danger. We need to put her in a maximum security prison to keep her from harming 
anybody else. She not only has plans to take over the magical kingdom, ladies and gentlemen, but she wants to take over the whole Minecraft world. We cannot let this happen, ladies and gentlemen of the jury. All you have to do is see the evidence and your mind should be made up. Let's keep the Minecraft world safe and put evil Kelly behind bars where she belongs. That is all. Thank you, Mr. Cameron. It is now time for the jury to make their final decision based on your statements and all the evidence provided. We will regather when this final decision has been made. Thank you. So, what's going on, Detective? Where are we now with the trial? The jury is discussing their final decision. We have a strong case with lots of evidence, so I don't see how she can walk free. It's impossible. That's good. And what will happen if she's found guilty? What will her punishment be? She will receive life in prison without the possibility of parole, which means she will spend the rest of her life there, where she belongs, Your Highness. And it won't be a normal prison. She will be going to maximum security prison Alcatraz. It's on a remote island that can only be accessed by boat or plane. It's perfect. I would never want one of my daughters to end up in a place like that. But I think this is for the best. It is most definitely for the best, your highness. Believe me. And this is not your fault. You can't blame yourself for this. You tried to give her a chance at a normal life when you sent her away. She brought this on herself with the horrible evil things she has done. Detective, we have to go back inside. The jury has made their final decision. Okay, the moment of truth. Let's see what they've decided. Before we announce the verdict, we would like to ask the defendant if she would like to add anything. Eva Little Kelly, do you have anything to say to the courtroom before the verdict? Let the games begin. As you wish. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, have you managed to reach a verdict? Yes, Your Honor. Taking into account both of the lawyer's arguments and the evidence provided, we have made our final decision. On the three separate counts of murder, terrorism against the magical kingdom and its royal family, and possession of a deadly weapon, we find evil little Kelly guilty of all charges. <gasps> Order! Order! Order in the courtroom! Ladies and gentlemen, the jury has spoken, and they have found the defendant guilty of all three charges. We did it! She's going to Alcatraz! Evil little Kelly, I sentence you to life in maximum security prison without the possibility of parole. You will be escorted straight there immediately. <gasps> Order! Order! Order in the courtroom! Everyone in this courtroom is under oath, and they know never to speak of this case again, or the consequences will be dire. The name Evil Little Kelly will hereby never be mentioned again. This court is adjourned.
is prisoner Alcatraz or home sweet home as you're gonna call it <laughs> and don't get any wise ideas there's never been anyone to break out of this place you're gonna be here for the rest of your life so get used to it you think you're evil wait till you see some of the prisoners we have here scum of the earth people call them you're nothing compared to them welcome to your new home evil little Kelly now move! It's time for you to meet your new cellmate. I'm so glad this is all over. Evil little Kelly is in prison now, where she belongs. Me too, little Kelly. Now she's in a place that she can never hurt us again. You never have to worry about the name Evil Little Kelly. I promise you. Oh, and little Kelly, I have some news about your sister, little Carly. You do? What is it? Well, little Kelly, she wants to meet you. That is, of course, if you would like to meet her, too. Of course I want to meet her, Dad. She's my sister, but I just don't understand why you sent her away. Well, you see, little Kelly, when she was born, she had one red eye, so we presumed she was evil, just like your other sisters. Sisters? You mean there is another sister? Um, no, no, sorry. I, I meant sister. Uh, anyway... It's turned out that the evil we thought was in little Carly wasn't actually there at all. It was a mistake to send her away from the start. We just tried to protect you, little Kelly. We never meant for this to happen. Enjoy your new home. You'll fit right in. <laughs> Um, what are you supposed to be? You don't scare me. Let's not stand on ceremony here. Even little Kelly. How do you know my name? Who are you? My name is Bane, and I know everything about you, little Kelly. I knew you would end up here sooner or later. I've been waiting for you. Waiting for me? Why? We have similar interests, it seems. Oh, really? And what's that? To take over the Minecraft world and end the borrowed time these people have all been living on. And why should I help you? Because I can give you what you want, evil little Kelly. I can give you the magical kingdom. I can help you kill your sisters. 
What do you mean, sisters? I only have one sister, little Caddy. It seems you still have a lot to learn about your family, princess. You've been kept further in the dark than you'd think. Tell me everything. Give a little Kelly. Join us, won't you? I'd love to. So, Bane, you said I've been kept in the dark about my family. I want to know everything you know. All in good time, princess. All in good time. First, I want to introduce you to someone. Someone who I think can help us. Help us? Help us how? Help us break out of here, of course. Evil little Kelly, meet the Joker. Well, hello there, princess. Don't be frightened of me. A lot of people are. It's mostly because of my scars. You want to know how I got them? Well, my father was a drinker. And if I'm not afraid of you. Tell me how you can help me or find someone else to talk to. Ooh, a feisty one. A little bite in you. I like that. Well, princess, we have a very valuable asset here in the prison. An inmate that also shares our interest in taking over the Minecraft world. But that inmate is being held in a secured cell in the prison. It's heavily guarded. We can't get to it. So... Why is this prisoner under extra guard? Well, this particular prisoner is a little more evil than the rest of us. I hear she is possessed by the devil. She? Yes, correct. It's a she. And I think you're gonna want to meet her. Let's just say you two have a lot in common, so we need to break her out. And how do we do that? If she can help us, then let's break her out. Well, it's not gonna be easy, that's for sure. But I have a plan. We'll talk about it later, somewhere more private. There's too many people around here. We don't want anyone getting wind of this. There's lots of rats in here. Oh, mom. you get in here? You should know me by now, Haggerty. I always have a way of getting what I want. Please don't hurt me, and if you do, not the face. Please not the face. Not my beautiful face. You really are an idiot, Haggerty. I think I've changed my mind about not kidding you. You deserve to die, you little rat. No, no. Wait, wait, wait. I have some information I think you'll want to hear. Something you won't believe. Trust me, it's worth it. You need to hear this, princess. Well, what are you waiting for? Tell me! Hold on a minute. I'm not just going to tell you. Then you'll just kill me when I do. That doesn't work for me. I want a guarantee, princess. A guarantee you won't kill me. You're not in a position to be making deals, Hegarty. Don't test my patience. Well, princess, with the information I have, I think you'll be willing to make a deal. It's very, very, very important that you hear this. Trust me. Okay, Haggerty. Tell you what. If you tell me something that interests me, I'll spare your life. Deal? Okay, deal. Well, Princess, I have some information about your family. There's things you don't know. They hid some things from you all these years. Why do people keep saying that? Someone tell me what's going on! Well, Princess, when I was at the courtroom awaiting my trial, I overheard your father. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I mean, the king. I know you hate it when people call him your father, but 
I suppose he is your father, but I can't understand why you would hate it. I never knew my father. My mother said he was simple, just like me. I don't really know what she meant by that, but I- will it rock? Well, little Kelly was going to meet someone yesterday. A girl, in fact. And her name is Little Carly. What has that got to do with me? Well, Princess, Little Carly is your sister. So I guess you guys are triplets or something, I don't know. All prisoners are to make their way to the canteen for dinner time. No messing around. Move it! What's the matter, Princess? What's happened? I can't believe they never told me. I can't believe they hid this from me. What were they hiding from you, evil little Kelly? Tell me. I have another sister. How dare they hide this from me? Looks like another person to add to my list. She will die too. Now, I have to get out of here immediately. I can't stay here any longer. Tell me what I need to do. I already told you. We need the help of the maximum security prisoner. It's our only hope of getting out of here. Right, this girl you were talking about. Who is she? She's the most dangerous prisoner Alcatraz has ever seen. Until you came along, that is. Of course. And um, why is she being held in this guarded room? Because she kept trying to escape the prison. She's been here for more than two years. Rumors are that she's committed some of the most horrible crimes. She murdered her family, I heard. Sounds like my kind of style. I'm starting to like her. When can we break her out? Yes, it sounds like you two have a lot in common, but... Patience, Princess. Patience. All in good time. We need to talk to the Joker first. He has a plan. Okay, Joker, what's your plan? I need to get out of here. There's a kingdom I need to overthrow. I like your style, evil little Kelly. And well, my plan is simply this. The keys for the maximum security zone are in the guards' room. So, I'm going to set off the alarm to the prison cell block, and when the guard comes out to see what's going on, then boom, I grab the keys. But won't the guard notice the keys are gone? No, 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 because... They don't use those keys. They're a spare set. He'll never know. Perfect. So when do we make the move? Well, I was thinking in the next hour or two. Strike while the iron is hot. Why waste time? Let's get out of here and kill some people. I miss it. You really are crazy, Joker. But I like it. Let's do it! We are planning a breakout and we'll need your help soon. The Joker is going to steal the keys from the guard so we can break a prisoner out of maximum security prison. She's going to help us break out. Did you just say she? Yes, it's a girl. Bane said she's the same age as me and just as evil. We have a lot in common, it seems. Ah, oh, that must be the Joker now. The plan is working.
the games begin. Okay, we've got this idiot in disguise. What now? Hey! Well, it's pretty simple. Hegarty has to go to the maximum security zone and tell the guards they're wanted by the warden and that he'll stand guard when they're gone. The minute they leave, he opens up the door with the keys we stole and boom, he breaks her out. Hold on, hold on. I'm sorry, but is it just me or does this plan sound a little too easy to work? I mean, what if the guards don't fall for it? What if I get caught? They'll put me in that room forever, too. Just do it, Hegarty. If the Joker says it will work, then it will work. Don't test my patience. If you screw this up, the last thing you have to worry about is being caught by the guards. I will kill you if you do. Okay, okay. Jeez, I'll do it. You don't have to keep saying you're going to kill me. I get it. Time to play. <laughs> Hey guys, uh, good to see you. <laughs> uh, um, the warden asked me to come down here and tell you that he wants to see you immediately. And he says it's very urgent, so I get a move on if I were you. He did? That's strange because we were just talking to him like an hour ago. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. Why would I make this up? What do you think? I have some elaborate plan to break out this maximum security prisoner and, like, escape through a hole in the ground? Come on, seriously. <laughs> Fair enough, I suppose. And you stand guard here, okay? Don't let anybody mess around here. Got it. You can count on me. Hello there. And who are you? I don't really have time to explain, but I'm gonna break you out of here. We gotta go! What? Look, we don't have time. Either come with me now or stay here. Your choice! Thank you. 